It's Sergeant so Kina here reporting for duty. Alright, last we left off, we went to the tutorial of a Pizza Expressa, and uh, we're gonna go through our very first couple of days through the game. Alright, so let's uh, go and continue through. Because we're gonna be the Pizza Master, okay? We're gonna be the Pizza Master. We, we do everything. We only have to do three hours, and we good. And we, you know, budget is uh, $3,000. $335,000. Expenses is 10,000. Whoa, okay, we better have a good day. We better have a good day. We got the make of the pizza and make sure we, you know, Pizza Master 500 is the best pizza shop in the world. Okay? Alright, I'm excited. Good day, Sergeant Kenai. How are you feeling? Today's a big day. We're opening the pizzeria. Luckily, lucky permitting knowing her well, I bet she will still, she still is home snoring on the couch. Alright, or not. Here I am, gang! You all ready to make our customers' belly explode? Perhaps not up to the point to make their bellies burst, but yes, of course, we're ready. Anyways, guys, be frugal today. Remember how restocking was free during both of the tutorial and the test? Well, forget that now. Whoa, okay. Because everything is about the charge. The cost for the supplies will be subtracted from the daily cost of income once the restaurant closes. For food business is sadly a rather expensive thing, and it wouldn't be pretty to stop start our adventures finding ourselves immediately in the red, right? Yeah, that'd be pretty bad. It sure wouldn't, but you can bet on your own ranch that we'll get by, gas. If things go wrong, I can always put the blame on you, Sergeant Kenai. Why would you do that? That's a rude thing to do. That's why would that's that's not my fault, okay? How much to you, Damon Lords? I hope not to cause you too much trouble for my earliness. Uh, who on earth are you supposed to be? Oh, how rude of you. My name is uh, Megalato di Salviti. Uh, food writers as well as the first secretary of lab. That de, de Cataviti? Absolutely. Although I do not understand the reason behind such surprise, haven't you summoned me to review your eatery? Well... Young man, you appear to be slightly confused, yet agog. Isn't this the restaurant located at 3 in Agano Aglonati Street? Yes, this is definitely Agalati Street, but the house number is 111, not 3, sir. Gracious me, I must have read it as a Roman numeral. How silly of me. Oh, wow. My goodness, excuse my stomach, but it does feel a little empty. If you would like, Mr. De Cataviti, we can offer you something from our menu. Oh, what a brilliant idea. I'm glad I'll gladly accept your offer. Sure thing you accept, you leech. For your food, have decency at your least... To have the decency to at least review our restaurant? Wow, lucky. But of course, my lady. Please let me introduce you to Flab. Criteria for reviewing. Firstly, we take deeply into the account of the overall competence of the restaurant crew, meaning we evaluate how quickly orders are delivered. In addition, we also consider the occurrence of more unfortunate accidents such as mistakes or customers lost. He basically telling you to hurry up when serving him. Of course, we also evaluate the aspects such as the restaurant's menu, the products used, and the atmosphere. The larger amount of points will be given depending on the qualitative, ethical, and delivery variety offered by your menu. And what do you mean by in, in, in intelligible words? About the last topic, my dear, Flab is always pleasantly supplies when the business offers vegetarian, vegan, or low-calorie dishes on its menu, as this will allow a, a, gen, a, genre, a, a genre of customers to enjoy the, cust the chef's cuisine. Damn right. You better enjoy my cuisine, I'm the best pizza master in the world. This is why I named the restaurant Pizza Master 500. Enjoy without the smallest amount of cheese or morsel of meat? These sure are some crazy people. Lucky, I'm begging you, could you please keep your lovely, petite mouth shut for five more minutes? Don't worry, young man, I find your colleague's violarity to be exquisitive. Nevertheless, moving forward, the rate of ingredients used to place an important role in Flab's evaluation. Superior quality of ingredients will provide you with a better score. Lastly, there are five variables we would like to call chick. This value tends to grow if you happen to have rather unusual or eccentric toppings. Please notice that this... Said value can also be incremented by the pur purchase peculiar pieces of furniture. Hmm, that's it, guess tomorrow we're installing a disco ball. Sure, and since we're at it, let's start topping our pizza with olive tarpon date and smoked reindeer meat, right, Lucky? Anywhere, any, anyhow, Mr. Dick Cataviti, um, I thank you for all your explanation you have to provide us. Here's to the menu. Thanks a lot, young man. Let's see. 
Okay, Sergeant K9, lucky. Now's your chance. Make one of his his reviews is a positive one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go, Sergeant K9. Yes, I can uh, do it. I'm very good at the at the thing of my bobs that we need to do. Okay, I'm waiting for its order. Why is he taking so long to order? I mean, doesn't this man come in to and wants a pizza and he doesn't know what he wants? What are we doing here? I'm waiting for the pizza. It's taking about five years. Man, seriously, this guy's like, where's his pizza? Is lunch a thing of the past? <laughs> exactly. What are the where's this guy's pizza? He's he's not doing. He hasn't ordered anything. What are, what are we waiting for? There's no orders. What am I supposed to give him? Am I supposed to just give him a random pizza? What is? What are we supposed to do? There we go, Frother Kitties. All right, we put it down. We we put it down. We put it down. Okay, we need uh five pizzas. Open, open. We need two frakiti, so just some oregano. Oregano, take it off. Take it off. A margarita, we could put that on there. Put that. And uh, put another one, yes. And then this one just wants uh, some pasta and some oregano. There we go, boom, bada bing. Okay, we put uh, some more dough down. Alright, that's four orders. We can do this. Uh, okay, so two frakitis, we want uh, two oregano. Send them off. Uh, margarita, the both the want the tomato sauce, and one wants the cheese, and one wants a little oregano. Okay, we send it off. Okay, we're good. Okay, two more margaritas. So that uh, margarita, I believe, is just yes. It is a uh, tomato sauce in the uh, the cheese. The cheese should be good. And uh, we got another frakiti. We put the, the oregano in there. We got the margarita. Uh, another one. Wow, this, this guy wants a lot of margaritas. Yo, I'm sending them out. Don't worry. Okay, we put that down. We want the frakiti. That is just the oregano. Okay, we're getting low on that oregano. Let's order it. All right, man. We're doing pretty good. I have to feel. All right, two marinaras, two fragaritas. Okay, we uh, we don't have enough of oregano. Oh, no. We're running out of the oreganos. That is not the good. Okay, we uh, put this down. We put... Hopefully the oregano gets here soon. Oregano, please. We need that oregano. Okay. Oh no, come on, give us our frokiti, uh, frokasa, frokati. Come on, we, we need this really bad right now. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, where, where, is, where is this this truck? This truck? We need to give the little oregano, we should have ordered it much sooner. I think uh, t ordering it when we were at two was a bad idea. Oh my god, has it been? Oh no, we, we don't have time for new orders. We need the oregano. Seriously, oh my god. This this is a bad Oh yes, here we go, the Frank AD, we finally arrived. Alright, good, good stuff. Okay, marinara. We can we got it, we got it, we don't worry. Okay, the marinara, put that on. Send it off. We're good. Okay, Frakiti, alright, we we are we are doing a good job now. Put that down and doing a little Frakiti, send it out. Another one, okay. We should be doing these in advance much more often. All right, closed. Okay, so we didn't need to order that last piece of oregano, though. All right, we got the total of eight orders. We completed 100% of the orders. We had 85 people waiting. We served 22. We had zero mistakes. All right, we had expenses. Let's see. Uh, we have none of the total income. So did we get a? We got a profit of six thousand one hundred dollars. All right, we got money. Yes, we did not lose the money. We probably could not, shouldn't have ordered another oregano, but I did not know how much time we had left, so I ordered another oregano. Um, use the arrow keys to view the rest of the things. All right, critics, menu five, variety twenty, quality forty two. Is that the good thing? I guess. Uh, I guess that that is good. I don't know. Is that a, out of a hundred or is that out of fifty? Because if that's out of a hundred, we got an F. Out of fifty, we got a, a B, a solid B. Uh, popularity ten. Check. Okay, personal. All right, rest. Wow. Ouch! Little we got the D on the restaurant. Oh, I was it because of the oregano? Maybe because of the oregano, but everything else was pretty quick. This motherfucker is coming into a restaurant and telling us that we do not have good stuff. What the fuck is he doing? Get him out of my restaurant! All right. Well, we got a higher score, and I guess that's what's important. I would like to congratulate you on a service that you have provided. I assume. Uh, you will not encounter any problems in the building's reputation. Sweet! In any case, you will consult the statistics menu from where you will be able to find the always up-to-date flab report, as well as small array of graphs and elucidative, 
of your performance on a global level and on a crew level. We especially like to evaluate your pizza chefs. Ah, so I, me, the pizza chef of Reno, I've got the, the A plus, but the restaurant overall got a D, so mainly I'm the, I'm the savior of this restaurant. I'm the best, I make the best of pizzas, and the other restaurant is it's not even up to my standards. We need to upgrade this restaurant. What are we doing? The graphs will also provide you with valuable information regarding your revenues. If you ever wonder how it is possible to access these, simply select stats from the restaurant management menu. Happy reading. Alright. Alright. I think we did pretty good. I think we can do another day. Pizza Master 500. What do we got going on? The next day. Hey there, Sergeant Kino. I'm not bad at all yesterday. We managed to make some cash. Yeah. Sup, dudes? What do you say, Gas? Don't you think Sergeant Kino and I rock? Yes, I sure cannot deny your skills. Anyway, today's objective is to the same as yesterday's. Let's give it our all. The food critics might show up any time now. There, speaking of the devil. Good morning, everybody. Wait. This guy isn't the oddball from yesterday? Who's supposed to be the oddball? Wait, what? Who's supposed to be the oddball, babe? Wow. Go say hey, babe, to someone else, you quack. I ain't your sister. Oh my god, apologies. My colleague seems to happen to be a little impulsive at times. It wasn't her intention to sound so aggressive. Don't worry, I understand. Lucky, what, do you, what in the world are you doing? Nothing. He lacked respect. Gaston, let me tell you, this dude gives me heebie-jeebies. Yeah, whatever, Lucky. Now stay here and let me sort this out. Anyways, please excuse us and apologies for my upcoming question, but who are you? Me? How come you don't know me? Nope, or you don't know me? Nope, sorry. Fine. There you have it. Vit, owner and chef of the most renowned restaurant in town, Vitality. Well, this freaking guy and his names. Uh, yeah, but you end up the better the pizza of Master 500, alright? I thought I could have been. A, I thought it would have been a nice surprise for my neighbors if I had dropped by for a quick visit, but apparently I was wrong. No, no, you are more than welcome, Mr. Vit. Please excuse me for what. Well, for not having recognized you. Gosh, this guy is so full of himself. Here's another windbag. What could possibly be so special about this restaurant? A large dining room with 45 tables and 200 seats, as well as a rich menu which boasts dishes only with locally grown ingredients, obviously created by the brilliant mind that you're here admiring, who chose to only use the most ecologically sustainable and genuine projects. This guy. What would that mean? Sweetie, don't play dumb with me. Want to come and have a taste of my deliciousness? You must have to cross the road. It, de it depends, really. Let's see. Do you have a uh, shot of torty in your repertoire? But of course, sweetie. Cool. Too bad I just remembered. Apricot bit me once. I saw I'll have to pass. Uh, despicable, insolent, impudent. I was wasting my time here. You might have had a chance on Celia, but with such a partner, you've thrown out that, that out the window. See ya. How does he know? And he's gone. Well... Finally, that blowhard is gone. What's going on, Gas? You look very pensive. No, it's nothing really. Personal business. How does that go? Know my fa guy know my family name? Hmm. So is everyone ready to begin a new and profitable working day? I bet that guy ran our dad's business out. Or his, our Gaston's dad's business out. It's not our dad. It's because we're just a worker here. You bet, but you'll have to explain to me why you suddenly started to act so weirdly. All right. Oh, this music. I love the music of this game. It's awesome. Ah, oh, the margarita. Open it up, uh, margarita. He is the one with the, uh, the cheese. Take it out. That was quick. I think we're only open for three hours. I think we close at two? Or do we close at one? I don't remember our, our opening hours. Oh, margarita, margarita. Okay. We got the marinara, the margarita. We got the fracchiti. Okay, open it all up. Marinara on uh, four of them. Put the cheese because we accidentally grabbed the cheese. We got another margarita, the marinara, and then the oregano. Okay, send them all out. There we go. Bon appetit. We are the greatest chef in the world. Oh my god. We are the, the pizza master. This guy, the freaking windbag, comes in here and tells us that he's got the most locally organic mach blah blah blahs. We don't need this shit. To... Alright, all marinaras. We got this, we got this. Marinara times go, alright. To put on the tomato sauce. Oh man, this music is amazing. It is amazing. I love it. Every single bit of it. Yeah, not bad. You better say not bad, man. I got the best uh, business uh, pizza making business skills in the world. 
If we have a big order come up, we gotta order more uh, with a lot of oregano. We gotta order the more oregano, okay? We're getting kind of low on the tomato sauce as well. We, uh, we'll have to see. Seriously, somebody come, please. All right, marinara, marinara. Yes, we order more marinara. We throw this down. We'll probably order more of this as well. Okay, come on, place it down. What are we doing? Marinara is just the the, the oregano and the tomato sauce. Yes, okay, we, okay, I'm doing it. Hold on, don't rush me. Well, there we go. Faster than that. No more marinara. Okay, I did not see that. Okay, the marinara, the tomato sauce. The oregano, it's a good thing we have ordered more oregano recently. Hopefully that will arrive soon. We're pretty low on the tomato sauce as well. Uh, let's forget that we don't have any uh, oregano. Uh, we're waiting on the oregano. Hold on. Okay, we got uh, more. We got another forgotti. Okay. Oregano, I need you. Where are you, buddy? I need the oregano. These guys are gonna get mad. Okay. Oregano, oregano, please. Oregano. Oregano. <laughs> Where's my oregano? Come on. Oh my god, this is bad. I should order oregano much sooner. Holy crap, come on! Oh, oh god, send that out! Okay, whoo! That was close. That was close. This is a big order right here. We need, we need to get to all the pizzas out. There are all the pizzas. Okay, we got two forgotties. Three forgotties. So we do with that to put the forgotties down and uh, send the forgotties out. No more forgotties. We got the, the marinaires with the. Uh, yes. Ooh! Ooh, that was bad. Oh, I messed up again. Holy crap, I'm doing real bad right now. I accidentally double clicked. Oh, the song's it's slowing down. The, the game is mad at me. No, stop sending stuff out. My mouse, please, what are you doing? We wasted so many pizzas. We lost so much money. Oh my god. My mouse is, I think I need a new mouse, uh, my mouse is bro being broken, like at the margarita. Okay, really stop doing that game. Okay, uh, we only need uh, the margaritas and then uh, we need the uh, forgotten. Send that out, okay. Damn, we lost, a, we wasted like three pizzas, that sucks. Well, at least we got a little profit, that is good, we got this uh, 5,000 profit, but we would have gotten like a, like a, almost a 10,000 profit if we uh, didn't mess up. Ugh. Popularity went up. That's good. We made three mistakes. That's what's really bad. Yeah, our personal went down to a B. Oh, ouch. Ouch, that sucks. Not bad, not bad, but we should step up our game a little bit. I agree. But uh, I'd like to expand our menu as well as the uh, kitchen. And since you're the chef, what you add is up to you. Just remember, I'd like to find an extra ingredient in the kitchen and a new recipe added to the menu by tomorrow. Are you wondering how possible to do that? Listen up then. Choose Edit Kitchen on the main menu. It will allow you to buy new products and edit our, and replace our ones you already own. If instead you choose to edit menu, you'll be able to add new pies or alter ones you're currently making to offer in price, ingredients, and so on. Have a look. Alright. Alright. So, do we want to do the menu editing to today or do we want to do it tomorrow, the next episode? Well, I think we'll do it tomorrow, the next episode, as this... You know, it's a, uh, we did it two days and now, we did it two days. We don't need to do uh, the, the menu editing today. We will do the menu editing tomorrow. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode, I'd, I'd very much appreciate it if you came down and left a like. Other than that, I am Satsajakina and I will be signing out and see you guys next time.